The VA says their wait times are down, but you look at the stats, Julie, and this is still an epidemic. It's an enormous problem. It's not just on wait times. Also, there are reports about homelessness among veterans, which has gone down, but it's still an enormous problem. And you have so many young people who have fought in Iraq and Afghanistan who have come home, and even if they aren't suffer suffering from life-altering injuries, are, their lives are changed irreparably, and this is the system that's supposed to help them. You know, to the Hillary Clinton comment, sometimes when you do this job, you hear a candidate say something, and you just know that that's something that is going to trail her through election day next year if she's the eventual Democratic nominee. Because this is one of those moments. It's one of those moments because you you look at the numbers and I think it's really hard to argue that this isn't a systemic widespread problem. And Senator John McCain jumped on it right away, even though it was a Friday evening and it largely got overlooked into the weekend last weekend. Uh, we've talked about it a couple times. This is all political. She is trying to cover her trail for her dismissiveness last week. And her solution is the classic liberal solution. Every word she said about examining the problem, a no tolerance, is exactly what Obama said about this two years ago when it happened. And we know that nothing has been done. The root problem here, and the reason that the Democrats are not going to be able to solve this, is because you, you have to ask, why do we have separate VA hospitals? She railed against privatization, because that's a real key word, and it sounds really awful. Another way of saying that is to say she's, that you would be pro-choice, that a veteran would have a choice whether to go to a private hospital, a VA hospital. And why do we need a separate system? 150 years ago, yes, military medicine was probably advanced over what the, the, the private sector had. Today, that is not true. It's totally anachronistic. And what you really ought to do is to give them vouchers to go anywhere they want. But a Democrat will never consider that because it gives a person choice. We will follow this story. That's it.